Hello. Today you are going to learn some tricks for deciding if a number is divisible by 2, 3, 5, 6, 9, or 10. Not every number has a trick, but these six numbers do. Don't get them confused. If you can figure out these tricks and remember them, it will save you a lot of dividing. If you've got a number like 4 or 7 that you're checking, you're actually going to have to do the dividing. But if you're just checking these numbers, you can use these tricks. Okay, let's get started. So, first, the trick for 2. Here are the first 20 natural numbers that are divisible by 2. They are 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 24, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, and you can read the rest. You know these numbers. Let's look at the ones place in each of them. 2, 4, 6, 8, 0. 2, 4, 6, 8, 0. 2, 4, 6, 8, 0. 2, 4, 6, 8, 0. Do you see the pattern? The idea and the trick for two is that the ones place is zero, two, four, six, or eight. If a number has a ones place, if a natural number has a ones place that is one of those, then it is a, then it is divisible by two. So let's try a number. Let's try seven hundred fifty-four. The ones place is 4. So that means it is divisible by 2. Got the idea? Next trick. 3. Well, look at the ones place. 3, 6, 9, 2, 5, 8, 1, 4, 7, 0, 3, 6. Hey, there's a pattern to it, but it's not consistent. In fact, it covers all the possible ones place numbers from 0 to 9. So that's not the trick. But here is the trick. Let's start over here at 60. Add the digits together. 6 plus 0 is 6, and 6 is divisible by 3. 5 plus 7 is 12, and 12 is divisible by 3. 5 plus 4 is 9. And 9 is, a, is divisible by 3. 5 plus 1 is 6. 4 plus 8 is 12. 4 plus 5 is 9. 4 plus 2 is 6. 3 plus 9 is 12. 3 plus 6 is 9. 3 plus 3 is 6. 3 plus 0 is 3. 2 plus 7 is 9. 2 plus 4 is 6. 2 plus 1 is 3. 1 plus 8 is 9. 1 plus 5 is 6. 1 plus 2 is 3. So the trick for 3 is the digits add to a multiple of 3. Let's try it on let's try it on our number 754. So 7 plus 5 is 12, 12 plus 4 is 16, 16 is not divisible by 3, so 754 is not divisible by 3. Okay, so we know the rule for 2, and we know the rule for 3, let's move on to 5. Adding the digits won't work here, but what will work is the ones place. So let's take a look. It's five zero 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 etc. So if a number has a ones place of five or zero, then that number is divisible by 5. So let's try our number, 754. The ones place is a 4, so this is not divisible by 5. 
I don't even have to go dividing it to find that out. Okay, now how about six? Well, the ones place doesn't work and adding doesn't work, but since six equals three times two, if it is divisible by two, and it's divisible by three, then it's guaranteed to be divisible by six. So look at this, 96. Nine plus six is 15. 15 is divisible by three, so it's divisible by three. Six is one of those two, four, six, eight, or zero numbers, so it's divisible by six. By two also, Therefore, it is divisible by 6. Let's try our number 754. It ends in a 4, so it's divisible by 2. 7 plus 5 is, tw is 12, plus 4 is 16. That's not divisible by 3, so it's not divisible by 6. Because it was divisible by 2, but it was not divisible by 6. Let's try nine. Well, the ones place doesn't work. As you can see, it pretty much covers every single possible numbers. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, all the way up to 10, all the way up to zero again. So let's try adding the digits together. Nine is nine. One plus eight is nine. Two plus seven is nine. Three plus six is nine. Four plus five is nine. 5 plus 4 is 9. Hey, these all add up to 9. 7 plus 1 plus 1, 9. 6 plus 2 plus 1, 9. 5 plus 3 plus 1, 9. 4 plus 4 plus 1, 9. It seems like they always add up to 9. That's not quite true. They all, the digits always add to a multiple of 9. For example, if I used 8, 1, 7, 2, 8 plus 1 is 9, plus 7 is 16, plus 2 is 18, and if I divide this by 9, I get 908, which is a whole number, and there which is a natural number, therefore 8,172 is divisible by 9. So it has to add to a multiple of 9. Let's try our number 754. 7 plus 4 is 12, plus 4 is 16. 16 is not a multiple of 9, so it is not divisible by 9. All right, next one. First 15 natural numbers which are divisible by 10. Well, what's the ones place? It's always a zero. So that's the rule for being divisible by 10. The ones place is always zero. And if that's the case, then it is divisible by 10. 754, the ones place is four, so it's not divisible by 10. Okay, here's a summary of those rules. Summary of those tricks. 2, the ones place is 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8. 3, the sum of the digits is divisible by 3. 5, the ones place is 0 or 5. 6, it's divisible by both 2 and 3. 9, the sum of the digits is divisible by 9. 10, the ones place is 0. Okay, let's try one. 90, is it divisible by 2? Well, the ones place is 0, so therefore it is yes. And why? You say the ones place equals 0. 3. Well, 9 plus 0 is 9. 9 is a multiple of 3, so that's yes. And how do you say it? You say 9 plus 0 equals 9. And 9 is a multiple of 3. 9 is a multiple of 3. 5. Is it, does it end in 0 or 5? 
Yes. And how do you know? Because 5, the ones place, is 5. 6, is it divisible by 2 and 3? Yes. So you say it is divisible by 2 and 3. 9, add the digits together. 9 plus 0 is 9. 9 is a multiple of 9. So you say yes, and you say 9 plus 0 equals 9. 10, Does, is the ones place 0? Yes. So why is it? Because the ones place is 0. Here, let's try one more. So... 343. Is it divisible by 2? Well, the 1's place is 3. Is that one of the choices? No. So we say no, and the reason that you give is the 1's place is 3. 3. Well, let's add the digits. 3 plus 4 is 7, plus 3 is 10. That's not divisible by 3, so you'd say no, and you do 3 plus 4 plus 3 equals 10, which is not a not divisible by 3. 5. Is the ones place 0 or 5? No. So why or why not? Because uh, the 3 is the ones place. 6. Well, is it divisible by 2 and 3? No. So why not? Because you say it is not divisible by 2 and 3. 9. 3 plus 4 plus 3 makes 10. 10 is not a multiple of 9, so that's no. And you write 3 plus 4 plus 3 equals 10. And that shows that it is not divisible by 9. 10, it, the ones place is 3. It has to be a 0. It's not a 0. So you would say no, and you say the ones place equals 3. So that's how you use these divisibility rules. That's how you explain yourself. Those divisibility rules are there. You can use them. Instead of having to divide, you can use these to decide if a number is a factor of another number, specifically 2, 3, 5, 6, 9, and 10. You cannot use these for any other numbers. There are some other tricks in the world, but some of them get a little harder to use. But 2, 3, 5, 6, 9, and 10, these are the easy ones. Okay?